guys and welcome to the Watch Our Watch Reviews with your host DK and we are back with a very large unboxing. So this, normally I'd have some set dressing, I'd have my open and knife for opening stuff up, I might have Yoda up here somewhere, might have another watch down here, but uh, yeah I don't really have room for that because this packet is massive. So this came to me by way of Watches with George, George is a very good friend of mine, and he decided he was going to send me on some stuff to unbox and to do reviews on, which was very kind. Uh, George, I'm sure you're watching, and if you are, thanks very much. Uh, also, if you guys haven't checked out his channel already, give it a go. So, let's take a look. I'm not sure we'll unbox everything straight off the bat. I might split this in two. So, let's get this open. Nice and gentle, because I don't want to cut through anything. Uh, he did actually say as well <laughs> that it was packaged with not necessarily all bubble wrap. Some of it is with uh, kids colouring books. So literally hours of entertainment to be had in this packet. Watches and colouring books and uh, some fun facts about tapers. So yeah, tapers love a good swim and they make a honking noise and they are apparently stripey. There you go. So not only watches today, you're actually getting facts as well and some information. Nice one, George. Uh, I'll have a read of that later, I'm sure. <laughs> so, what have we got inside? So, traditional Heimdallr packaging, you can see there. Try and focus in, there we go. Heimdallr, white little cardboard packaging on the outside. Black cardboard box, quite resilient cardboard box with the little shark logo. And I'm guessing that's Heimdallr in Chinese. Let's take a look at which one we have. Oh, it's the monster. So yeah, I saw this on George's channel, I saw it on a couple of people's channels actually, and I was very tempted to get it, actually. I ended up getting the Heimdallr SKX on it instead, but it's a really nice watch. I really like the blue on this actually. Wasn't sure about the bezel, but now that I've seen it, it's pretty interesting. Let's take a look and see how grippy it is. Very grippy. Feels like a 120 click bezel. Let's see, does it line up? Looks like... It does bang on actually. Very nice. Interesting looking bracelet as well. Uh, similar actually to another one that I have, not by Heimdatter though. Folded, or machined clasp I should say, sorry. With double pusher security, three micro adjusts, signed Heimdatter clasp, signed crown, no as per usual, and signed case back. All stainless steel. I'll go through it fully in the review, of course. Let's see how... Ooh, that crown is actually... Did a good job of screwing it down anyway, George. Definitely no chance of moisture getting into this one. Nice to wind, although I'm not so sure about these... Uh, these crown guards. They're a bit sort of pokey. They kind of poke me in the thumb as I turn it. Yeah, not so sure about that one. But love the overall look of the watch. Very easy to screw back down the crown. You've got the teeth, hands, or teeth, hands, teeth indices, I should say, as per the Seiko monster. And you also have that sort of, it's supposed to be a tooth hour hand. I always kind of think of it as an arrow, because it looks like an arrow tip. Uh, and then you have another arrow tip for the second hand, and a basic kind of, uh, I don't know if you call that a sword. I call it a, let's call it a dagger minute hand. Uh, day date, obviously, at the 3 o'clock. NH36 in it. Very, very nice. Uh, not sure if there's anti-reflective, but it seems to be doing something there. Again, keep an eye out for the review. So, guys, that has been the unboxing. First impressions. Really, really nice. Do you know what, actually? That's not it. I'm just going to take off my Casio Juro that I've got on here. So, blue for blue. Chuck this on. See how it fits. I have no idea what size wrist George is. Ooh, fits nicely, actually. Might need to remove one link or something, but not too bad at all. Nice on. Very nice on, actually. Hmm. Might need to pick one of these up at some point. I'm going to enjoy wearing this for the, the week or two I have it, reviewing it, and then send back to George. But uh, there might be one of these in my future. Pretty cool looking. So, that is the final bit of the unboxing and first impressions. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. I have been your host DK. This has been the Watch Our Watch Views. This has been George's lovely Heimdallr monster. And I will see you guys next time. Bye for now.